Rescue Take Two. This week we'll be trying to do a bit more work on the XR, trying to get it actual drivable. And also while we're up here in Morgan at my uncle's place, we're going to be dragging down a HZ1 tonner. It's been half built. Uh, we're going to finish off building it. It's got a Chev 350, lots of goodies. We're going to drag it back to Adelaide and get stuck in it. So let's uh, go take a look. Now, in order to get this XR running, we need to bleed up the clutch, and the clutch system is knackered, it's all hydraulic, um, and of course, the slave cylinders are obsolete. So this is the old guy, obviously, and it's hammered. So I bought one from a later model Falcon, which as you can see is, is slightly different. However, I think if I was to adjust the push rod length, I want to be in business. I don't think it's going to be too much to get that to work. And then I'm, I've got a new one of these. Well, it's actually in, uh, a used one, I think, but it, it looks like a new. And um, we'll bleed up on the bench and then get it on the car, and we should have a clutch. All right, update. Um, mass cylinder's different. Who saw that coming? And also the hydraulic line snapped when I tried to free it up. So, un unlikely to get this thing driving. All right, newsflash, I'm a genius. I rang around about, oh, six or more auto stores in the Riverland and no one had a clutch master for an XR Falcon, which is no surprise. However, I realized that it is identical to a generic trailer master cylinder. First auto part store I rang, yes, they have them in stock, $40. So it's half an hour down the road, I'm gonna go grab one. Maybe we'll be cruising the XR today. Show you how much the same this is. It's literally the identical thing, so I should be able to make this work. All right, now back over the XR. It's like the windiest day ever here. The bonnet's literally folded back, so I've had to strap it down, so it doesn't do any more damage. Hopefully you can hear me over this wind. Um, we've got the uh, clutch system here all bled, uh, bled up on the bench. So that should literally bolt in and operate. So we'll get it all in and fingers crossed it works.
last day up here at Morgan. Um, we've been here for two and a half days. We've been sort of flat out the whole time, but as usual, things don't always go to plan. We've been working on the HZ1 tonner. Um, that thing's all brand new. It's never been fired up before. Brand new 350 Chef crate motor, new trans, new diff, new brake lines, uh, new wiring. There's a heap to do on the thing still, um, but we're gonna finish that off, but we're gonna drag that down to Adelaide, get its first fire up, and then that's gonna be sold to a friend of ours. Thankfully, we've got a beautiful day here. Yesterday, it was like a sandstorm. Apparently down in Adelaide, it was just thunderstorms, rain. We didn't get any rain, but it was windy, and it was dust everywhere. It was hard to get anything done, but uh, we also got the clutch all operating on this thing. I'm yet to drive it. The carby is very questionable, so whether it's gonna drive or not is another thing, but we'll at least get the wheels on. We'll have a crack at getting it moving under its own power. And uh, I just wanna get a set of red walls on the thing because I just want it to look cool. At least if it's not driving, it's gonna look the good. So we'll get the wheels and tires on now. Uh, I've got a thermostat to put on it, connect up the uh, cooling system, not that I think we're gonna need it. And um, yeah, we'll keep going at this thing. Doing there, Marcus? Cleaning up the gasket. We're gonna put a new thermostat housing in this bad boy. All right, Uncle Mark's uh, just shot back up to the shed to get some uh, longer bolts because the thermostat housing that we got is a different thickness. Um, so once that's on, or even if it's not on, I think we should be able to drive this thing up to the shed. It's not too far. Um, but as you'll see, that the new Clutch Master is now installed. Clutch Master, AKA Trailer Master. Um, and we use the original line, which I haven't yet to clip up, and a later model uh, slave cylinder off a later model Falcon, which fits. And we should be firing this thing up with no worries, thanks to my mate, Dennis, my fairy little friend at Repco Salisbury. So um, yeah, he helped us out with the brand new battery after seeing our first episode with the XR and uh, starting problems with dead batteries. So I'm really keen to get this thing running. XR runs. It didn't get overly far, but uh, it's a good start. So we're gonna head back up the shed, which is about, I don't know, 400 meters away. Um, we're gonna get some more fuel, because it sucked heaps of that. Uh, we're gonna get some water, and I'm trying to get the top radiator hose on. Um, and then, oh, and a bit more fuel line, because it doesn't quite reach the bottom of the, uh, the bottle we've got under the bonnet there. And then we'll try again, see if we can get it up to the shed. That's gonna be awesome, but it's moved. So that's a full on win. Sounds like a fucking steam train. Six time lucky.
just did some carby training, but I'm no carby specialist. Come on, Bessie. Here we go. Alright, I'm going to try and take this thing for one last spin before um, I go home, so let's see how we go. cool is this thing pretty wrapped that we got the thing driving um, the clutch system seemed to work fine needs a bit of adjustment we dicked around with the carby for a little bit but more or less ran um, drove it up to the shed I'll put a nice set of red wools on it put the polished caps on it and it looks really nice so at least we can move it around now it's gonna be realistically a long time before anything else happens with this car because it's gonna be a long-term build but um, pretty stoked with the outcome so far so thanks for coming back and checking out part two of the paddock rescue and yeah don't forget to like and subscribe if you like all the stuff that i'm doing see you next time cheers guys